Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Call of Duty thumbnail that looks super, super cool in Photopea really easily. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're in Photopea, of course, you want to click on New Project. And for the dimensions, we're going to go with 1280 by 720. That is the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. Now hit Create. And once you're here, you're going to want to have a picture as your background. Um, so I recommend going in game, taking a screenshot like this, it's okay if it has like these points or any kind of HUD on it. I'll show you how to remove it. Now just, I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it for the tutorial sake, but you can just take a screenshot in game yourself. Now what we're gonna do is go over to our spot healing brush tool right here. Right click on this one and click on it. Now if you hold alt and right click, you can drag your mouse to make it bigger and smaller. I'm gonna make it just big enough to highlight this circle right here and I'm just gonna click on it. And now it's gone. I can do the same for the top. It's a super easy way to get rid of stuff. If you mess up, hit control Z. Boom, there you go. Now it's all gone and we're ready to move on to the next part. Now let's say you just wanna remove your gun from your background. You can check out the video down in the description below. I'll link it. I show you how to cut out guns like in screenshots like this. So it's just the gun and no background. So definitely check that out if you need help on that. So now what we're going to do is add some adjustment layers to make the picture look a little bit better. So first off, what we can do is make sure to click on your background layer to do this. Go up to filter, sharpen and sharpen. It'll just sharpen the image a little bit, make it a little bit more crisp. Now what we're going to do is go down here to this half circle. This is the adjustment layer menu. Now click on a exposure. That's what we're going to start out with right now. I'm going to go with 1.4 for the exposure. Leave everything else the same. Now we're going to add some vibrance. So go back down to that adjustment layer button and click on vibrance. Now we're going to go with negative six for the vibrance and 26 for the saturation. And now it looks like this. You'll see it all come together. Now the next one we're going to add is a curves. So click on that. Go to the RGB channel and choose red. Go up on this line, down on this line, go to green, go up on this line, down on this line, and go to blue and go down on this line and up on this line. So it gives it some blue, makes it stand out a little bit more. Now I know it looks like a lot, very detailed, but we're gonna make it look a little bit better and not as sharp. Now what I'm gonna do is add a gradient fill. So go down here to the half circle, for the adjustment layer menu. Now click on gradient fill. We're just going to leave it on linear, change the angle to 112%, change the scale to 82, click in this box right here and we're going to change the colors. We're going to start out with a kind of bluish purple, like that, maybe a little bit more purple. We're going to do the same for this one and then we're going to click to add another one and we're going to make this like pinker. Like that, okay. Now go to the blending option right here and change it to color. Now it should look like this. You can adjust the scale or whatever if you need to. Okay, so now it's all coming together a little bit. What we're gonna do now is click on this white box right here next to the gradient fill. Go to your brush. Make sure this top box right here is black. And you can adjust the size and hardness here if you want. Now, if you just hold left click, you can get rid of it. You can see the gun more, but I'm gonna change the opacity to about like 40%. Because I still want it to have some purplish tint. It's not as much. And if you go to this box right here and make it white, it'll bring back the purple. So now what we're gonna do is copy and paste our background layer two times. So hit Control J, Control J. And you should have two background layers now. Now double click on the top one. You'll see right here channels RGB. Uncheck R. Hit OK. Now switch to your move tool and then use your arrow keys to go left or right. I'm going to move left like three clicks or two clicks. Now go to the second one right here. Uncheck the B. And now move it right. It'll give it like a glitch effect. What we should have done to begin with was blurred the background. So I'm going to just undo all that. 
And I'm going to get my blur tool right over here. It's like a little droplet. I'm gonna turn the size up quite a bit. Turn the hardness down and just start dragging around the gun. It'll make the gun stand out a lot more. Okay, now, once you're done with that, you can do what we were trying to do originally. So control, or yeah, control J, control J, uncheck the red, switch to your move tool, use your left arrow key twice. Uncheck the blue on this one and move it right twice. Now it has that glitch effect and it looks really cool already. So now we're gonna do is add some like speed lines. So go to your pin tool on the bottom left, change the fill to white and just click outside of your canvas and then like click in and then out to create like a little arrow thing like that. Now I'm not sure why it's kind of transparent. Let's move that above everything. Okay, that's why. So just move it above all your other layers and just make a few that are kind of coming in towards the gun. You don't have to make any if you don't want, but if you do, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we got our speed lines. It's looking pretty cool. Now what we can do is, this is optional by the way, it depends on what your video is about. But let's just say you're making a class video and you want to have the damage right here with like the numbers maxed out or whatever. I'll show you how to do that right now. So go to your pen tool and I'm just going to change the fill to black right now. I'm going to zoom in with my zoom tool. Like the right side of the screen like this. I'm going to like click right here on the top of the gun. I'm going to hold shift and then click outside of the canvas to make a straight line. And I'm gonna go down, hold shift, and then like that. So it like goes around your gun like that. Now it's a little bit over the sight, so let's move it up with your arrow keys. You might have to remake it. Yeah, I'm gonna remake it. So it might take a few tries. Let's get this right this time. So I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm gonna start at the bottom this time, so I know I'm not cutting off the site. I'm going to start right here. Okay. Like that. Now we can add the damage numbers. So I'm just going to type in damage. Move that layer above everything so you can actually see it. But it's black so you can't see it. Make sure to change it to like white. Control Alt T. Drag one of these boxes while you're holding Shift. Now we can have our damage right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Now we can add the squares. So let's just zoom in over here where they're gonna be. Go to your rectangle tool down here at the bottom left. Change the fill to whatever color you're going with. I'm going with like a pinkish purple, so I'm gonna choose like a pinkish purple. I'm gonna choose like purple. I'm gonna start here at the top of the text and drag it to the bottom. Like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look all right. Now we can edit it. Here, this speed line's kind of in the way, so I'm just gonna move that up. Same with that one. Let's double click on it and add some stuff to it. So we can add satin, inner glow. I'll just change that to like a pinkish. Change that to color dodge. You can copy these settings if you want. Just adjusting some of these things. And then bevel and emboss, possibly. It's completely up to you. Yeah, I think I'll do that. 
So you can just copy and paste it. So control J, use your arrow key to move it to the right. Control J, move it to the right. I kind of made rectangles, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be squares or anything. This. Okay. So now what we can do to make this look even better is we can add a new layer. So just go to the top layer, click this new layer button, and we're just gonna go to the brush tool and change this top box to like, uh, we'll do blue. Change the size and the hardness. About here, honestly. Now let's change the opacity back to 100 as well. Make sure to change this layer right here to screen. Very important. Now you can just kind of start clicking. It's preference though, you don't have to do it like that. It just, I think it looks better when you do it like that. Okay, so I'd say we're done now. You can do more to it if you want, but that's basically it. You can tweak so many things, like this isn't how exactly you're supposed to do it. If you wanna make it look exactly like this, then sure. But basically my tutorials just show you ways you can do things and you kinda of do that yourself and make it your own. That's kind of the whole point of these. So I definitely recommend you trying out some of these techniques in your thumbnails, and I think you'll enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.